Yo, what is good guys, and welcome back to more Pokemon Y Wonder Wedlock. In the last episode, we explored Lumio City, and in this episode, we are going to make our way to Camphrey Town, which is the next place we're going to, obviously. So, anyway, as always, guys, if you could leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the episode, that'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, we're getting told about O powers here, which aren't really important, but uh, sure. So, yeah, I don't really care too much about O powers or whatever. But, um, yeah, you can find that guy, Mr. Bonding, uh, in hotels, I believe, and in the Pokemon centers of various towns. So, let's head out here. And see what's going on. So, random Lucario in the middle of the route, okay. Wait, Lucario! Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario, and all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's wrong with you? Did you get drawn in by this girl's aura or something? Huh, well it seems Lucario likes you. Uh, thanks, I guess? So Lucario can read people's auras, it may- or takes a liking to a stranger or whatever, so... Anyway, yeah, she's Karina of the Shallower City Gym, it's the third- or third gym in the game. And, um, her Lucario is... scoping me out. Alright, well... What I'm gonna do is head over here first and just uh, grind along that to grab ourselves a super potion. So that's pretty sweet. And, um, yeah, it's a new route so we can't get ourselves a Pokemon. And we can catch it right here. So, let's see what we are gonna be catching. And it is a wild gulpin. Alright, cool. It's gonna be wonder traded, so it really makes no difference. And we hit this thing up with a gust. So, just get some damage off. Don't do that much, which is good. Uh, see how much pound does to me. Not... Uh, I'm not too happy about that damage. It's I know it's only 5, but still. You know, it's it kind of sucks. So we're getting yawned, which means we should probably try and catch this thing right away. And we are going to go for a uh, Luxury Ball, seeing so as we can give them a nice... friendly gulp, in, I suppose. And the Luxury Ball does look really awesome, actually. Alright, so, there we go, we have caught Gulpin, which means it's going to be on its way to someone else around the world. And that is, uh, Tangela up to 16, because of the experience share, which I still have on, because we still need to level up Honich, but I should probably take it off, because I probably will be using Pidgey a lot on this route. Alright, so, Gulpin, um, what can I call this thing, it doesn't even matter, uh, Yes, Toxin. I really just don't have a name for it. I don't really care about nicknaming Pokemon that I am uh, giving away. So, as always, guys, what I'm going to do is cut out while I connect to the internet. So, I will see you guys in just a second. So, BRB. Alright, so we're back. And we are going to get to Wonder Trading. So, let's do it. And let's see what we get for this Gulpin. So, it can be any gender, because as we already have a full team. It really doesn't matter, obviously, um, well, it doesn't matter, like, again, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, so I don't know what I was going to say there, so it's an adamant nature with, uh, pound, yawn, and poison gas, not bad at all, let's trade it off, and this Pokemon will go to the PC, so, I'll see you guys when, uh, we're done trading, and by done trading, I meant find a, uh, trade guy, so, this is, uh, Tyler from Michigan in the United States of America, and, uh, let's see what he is going to give us, so, this thing must be lower than level 25, that is, uh, one thing. It's gonna be annoying to check it, because I'm gonna have to go into Wonder Trade. We got a Gligar. Oh, please, God, let that be level 25 or lower. I love Gligar. I really like Gligar. So, here's hoping. Here's hoping we got... We got ourselves a Gligar here. Alright, so I'm gonna have to go back into Wonder Trade to check. Please. Oops. Please let that Gligar be level 25 or lower. I love Gligar. Gligar is such a cool Pokemon. Gligar is level 1. Yes, alright, sweet. Got ourselves a Gligar. Has some uh, egg moves too. Cross Poison, Baton Pass, Power Trick, and uh, Counter. I didn't even know it got those moves, but sweet. Our Pokemon is Gligar. So, we are just going to disconnect. And get rolling again. But yeah, sweet. Got Gligar. I'm really happy with that. I love Gligar. So, it's cool to get a Pokemon that you really like. 
And, uh, nothing going on in this playground here, so we got a double battle. Oh, please don't tell me these two have, uh... They don't have Plusla mining, do they? Oh, no! I have Pidgey at the front. Uh, I have Pidgey and Hollow Knight at the front. Uh-oh. This might go bad. Um... I could be dirty. I think the best thing is just to quick attack. Um, I'm just gonna double target one of them. Alright, luckily they didn't go for uh, an electric type move. I don't even know if they can have one at this point. Not about risking it. Well, they have Thunder Wave. Okay, that's that's one thing. But do they have Thunder Shock? That did nothing. <laughs> I, I realize it's a few levels higher, but that still did nothing. Uh, I should Sword Stance then. And alright, so we're just seeing quick attack so far, that's okay. Okay, that's that's good, that's good. There's there's no thunder shocks being let loose here. Pidgey gets paralyzed, that sucks. But Honage just gets plus two. Which is good. Um, I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to heal up Pidgey. And then we'll uh tackle. I don't know how Aegis or not Aegis, but Honage tackles just like stabs him. We'll stab that Plusle. Really hoping they don't reveal any electric side moves, because that would be terrible. Alright, so helping hand, that's okay, that's not an electric side move. And growl, excellent. Okay, I don't think they have Thunder Shock then, which is That's A-OK -okay with me then. So plus one still doesn't knock it out. Uh we'll just quick attack the Plusle, and we will tackle the Minoon. And yeah, they're it seems like they only have quick attack, which is good. And they can only target Pidgey with that, so. All is well, all is well. Alright, so there goes Plusel. And level 14, nice. Need to be careful though, because I really don't want uh thing to be over leveled. Alright, level 15, cool. Alright, slow down there, Pidgey. I don't want my Mianfu to be over leveled for the gym. That'd be bad. But I also need to train up Feebas. I can't train up Feebas any other way. Because it only has... Uh, only a splash. Well, level 14. And plus one tackle, now that we're level 10, does a hell of a lot more. Alright, so, quick attack again. And hit it up with a tackle. So, helping hand fails, because it has no partner, which is great. <laughs> great for me, obviously. And tackle from Honage, knocks it out with a crit. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so Pidgey up to 16, two levels off Pidgeotto, which would be nice. And Hone Edge is up to level 11, which is also good. Nearly level 12. Uh, Shadow Sneak would have been nice. I think we get Shadow Sneak soon. Engage to learn Hypnosis. Uh, Hypnosis Miss. More like it. I'd rather keep what I have because they're all accurate. Even though Hypnosis obviously would be helpful, but I think having what I have is fine. Alright, so let's get rid of that process on Pidgey. I think we'll get rid of uh, the, or not get rid of, but turn off the experience share. Because I think Honage can fend for itself on this route. I don't think there's much that can touch it. So it's probably better for me to have it off. Even though, again, I'd love to train up Feebas, but there's nothing I can do. Unless I start using uh, Tangela, which I could do as well. That's obviously an option. But I think we'll go with Hone Edge just to train it up a bit to catch it up to everybody else because it's a little bit behind, not too far, but still a little bit behind. Um, trying to think what we have coming up soon. I think there is our battle with Tierno and he is Corfish. I think that's soon. I actually think that might be next after we fight. Oh no, it is next. Okay, well, hopefully, his Corfish only has like Vice Grip. I really should have switched Tango at the front. Yeah, I, I knew this was coming up. I just thought there was like another trainer before it. Anyway, here's Tierno, and he does have Corfish. And his Corfish. He is. Level 12, okay. Um, please don't have anything that can hurt me. That can hurt me if he hits me with. Actually, wait, I'm trying to think. Corfish only have like Bubble at this point. But yeah, we, <laughs> we're swords dancing in front of each other. And we go for a tackle. Oh god, this this thing is setting up. 
Can it hurt me though? That is the question. I can stab it right in its like pins. It's like its claws. <laughs> I don't think they're called claws. They're pincers, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, another attack. I will knock it out. As the thing doesn't even have anything to hit me, I was worried over nothing. Good stuff. Oh, there we go. I knew it wouldn't have anything to hit me at that point. Like I knew it wouldn't have like knock off or something like that. That'd be disgusting. Would have swept. Well, I would have taken on my haunt. I just think Pidgey could have taken it on. Do 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 do. All right, so yeah, they're gonna tell you about horde battles and stuff, which uh, is when a group of Pokemon pop out at once, and you can use honey to get horde battles, or you can also use sweet scent to get lots of horde battles if you want. And uh, yeah, not too interested in horde battles. I'd rather just get single battles. Um, this dude doesn't have a fire type, does he? I feel like there's someone with a fire type coming up. My memory of this game isn't too great, because I LP'd it really fast, even though I, yeah, I've only played through these games twice. Um, I don't think Kadabra can do much to me, so I'm not too afraid or anything. You can just go for Tackle, I don't need to even set up on it. Oh, damn, that did a lot. And that didn't do enough. Um, I can just, uh, take another one and then heal up. That is doing- oh no. No, no, no. Alright, good, okay, Honich. <laughs> I thought you were going to be the first casualty of war, <laughs> it's going to be, oh damn, that was, that was fast, because I only got you in the last episode. Um, super potion. Those confusions are doing a lot, like, I, I'm afraid to hurt myself in the fusion. Obviously, I don't get a choice in that, but I'm afraid if I do hurt myself in the fusion, I might knock myself out. I should probably should have went for Fury Cutter now that I think about it, because, super effective. Come on, Honich. Please, Honich. Alright, well trained. Well trained. <laughs> well trained, Hone Edge. That is that cadaver did a lot though. That thing is a big threat. Wow. And we're learning pursuit, so I think I'll teach that instead of uh Fury Cutter. I don't like Fury Cutter that much. I definitely think pursuit's better. Alright, so Hamish has been defeated. And we need to heal up again, but good work from Honedge, for sure. Right there, that was uh, some nice work taking on that Kadabra. So let's heal up. And no, uh, we'll use a super potion, we'll just use a regular potion, even though we gotta use two to get up to full. And we'll hit up Pidgey as well, just in case we need to switch at any point. And let's come down here, grab ourselves a super potion. Wow, okay. A lot of super potions just scattered around here, but sure. And over that. And now we go back around. I probably should just walk through the grass or run because wild Pokemon and stuff. All right. So let's get away from that bundle bee. And uh, I'll just walk. Or, wow, that's not walking, that's running, but, <laughs> whatever. Still got a wall Pokemon anyway. A horde of Gulpin. Which I am gonna, uh, run away from. They're all level 5. Don't have any, like, spread moves that can hit them all, so there's no point in fighting them 1v1. Even though, I mean, the experience could've been good, because I don't know what they could do to me, but... Whatever. Anyway, all the way down here, we're gonna be going back up that hill. But, uh, first we'll grab ourselves an orange berry. One berry, I don't know if it's worth it. And there's not even anything in this room. Like, you'd think with this placement here, there'd be someone in it, but... There's nothing. Alright, so all the way back up to the top. And, uh... Well, my back is turned to you. We, we ain't looking eye to eye. You have to be looking eye to eye if you want to battle. Even though some trainers just look at the side of your head. <laughs> okay, so, Bumblebee. This thing is level 9, so what we're gonna do is Swords Dance. I don't think this thing is anything that can hit me, so... I can just set up... for free. 
it's gonna set up too. Like it can be faster than me if it wants. I'm an a uh, I keep saying Aegis Slash. I'm so used to using Aegis Slash like competitively. I'm a Hunnage, so you know I'm not about being fast. I'm pretty slow. I'm a sword. Like I'm a possessed sword. I'm not gonna be outpacing much. <laughs> Alright, so a third agility, bringing it up to plus six speed, which would be scary if I wasn't a ghost type. And therefore immune to everything it wants to do, and I can just stab it right in the chest. Right in- impaled! Right in the chest. And Skiddo, which is a crass type Pokemon, so... One of my favorite Pokemon introduced in this gen, I do love, uh, the Go-Goat family. And that was just delicious, so <laughs> let's hit him up with this- with a sword right in the face, a nice jab. Nice little jowls in the face. <laughs> and there we go. Alright, so level 14 for Hone Edge. Catching up with the team. Again, this route's good for Hone Edge. Not a lot of threats to uh, to it. Apart from that, that Kadabra was like the main threat, I think. That's the only thing that was pretty scary. But yeah, here's uh, Florin. With Doduo again, another Pokemon not very scary for Honage. So what we'll do is Sword Stance, because it's the best thing we can do. Pretty sure this thing has nothing that can do much damage. Doesn't have Pursuit at this level, I don't think. Pretty sure it does get Pursuit, but I don't think it has it now, so... That's good, obviously. And we'll hit it up with a Tackle. Gotta get pecked. Alright, cool. Crit, not cool. And let's, uh, let's decapitate this thing and make it a, uh, a dull one. That was a terrible, terrible joke. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, man, that was god-awful. Dull one, huh? What about, what was I thinking there? I, I don't know. Alright, well, okay, I didn't think we were at full speed there. I didn't think we'd make it across. Uh, I think I have a Repel I can use here, so we'll go for that. Uh, Repel... Yep, we have one, alright. Because there is a TM around here somewhere. If I recall correctly, I think it's, uh... I think it's that side, actually, so... I don't need to go full speed here, just about... Okay, I went full speed anyway, I didn't... It's not even anything over there. I, I, I'm pretty sure there is a TM around here, though. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I feel like there's something around here. Alright, so Bidoof. With the cool cry. And I'll set up a sword stance, because this thing doesn't touch me. Again, a very kind route for Hone Edge. That's annoying. That's just one thing that's gonna annoy me. Even though I am plus one, so I should still do a decent amount. Wow, well, I did nothing. And he's- oh, okay. Okay. I'm not sure if I appreciate that. Metal Sound lowers special defense, not physical defense, which sucks. Cause that way- oh god. Are we really doing this, Bidoof? I think we are. Alright, well we just gotta hope- well, we don't need to hope for a crit, but I mean, a crit would make this go faster. It would make this go a hell of a lot faster. Um, let me see. I have an X attack. There's no point though, I have Sword Stance. Like, that'd be silly, that'd be just a waste. And I don't, well I do, like, I don't, I don't mind using them if I have to. But yeah, that'd be a waste, so. Whatever. Fury Cutter probably would've been good now, I, I kinda regret getting rid of it. Jesus Christ, I am barely scratching the surface on this thing. Hopefully he has no healing items. I doubt he will though. Oh my god. <laughs> it's troll be doof. I'm getting trolled. Yep, I'm getting trolled. Wow. Well, one more attack. Wasted all my time going for sword stance right there. 
Sorry for wasting your time, too. <laughs> yeah, it's just a big waste of time. And Oddish. Grass Poison type. And we can get that up with a tackle attack. So, plus three. He is going to KO it. Cutting the weeds. And there we go. So, level 15 for Hone Edge. And still no Shadow Sneak. I don't know what level he learns it at, but it's a really helpful move for priority wise. Alright. Um. Well, over here we have ourselves an X attack. That's cool. There is a TM though. I know it. I know there is. I know there's a TM around here somewhere. You'll see like a yellow Pokeball. Um. Isn't there? Yeah, look, I can see I can see it right there. I saw I actually went the right way the first time. I just I'm so dumb that I missed it. Uh, well, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was here. I just I'm stupid and I actually think it's because I I went like really fast over the edge. Um, it doesn't really matter though. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna switch Tango to the front. Actually, I'm gonna switch Feebas to the front. Because I need to get Feebas up levels, even though I can't evolve it for a very long time. Hopefully this guy doesn't have a Litleo, because that would be terrible. Sentret, that's fine. Sentret's fine. Any fire type, bad. But Sentret, Sentret, good. Sentret, Sentret's alright. Alright, so we're about into Tangela. Ba baby. Alright, Foresight. Well, that would have been okay if I was using my Hone Edge, but I'm using Tangela. So, Mega Drain. Yum! <laughs> nice souls. <laughs> Thanks for all the help, even though I didn't get any, but I was already at max. So, I'm just fine with that to take it out. And Tangela, nearly level 17. I think Feebas was like very far from a level though. Which is awful. And yeah, I think we have uh, made it to Camphrey Town in just a second. So that's good. What do you have? Not a fire type. Pan Sage. I have Infestation. That's not bad. That's not bad. That is not too bad at all. Alright, so let's go into Tangela. Ten. Why do I call it? It's Tangela. Why do I call it Tangela? What yeah, Tangela? Oh, the, the, pro, the play nice. Weaken my attack. It's disgusting. Why couldn't like I wanted them to use that all the time when I was using uh, when I was using Inke, but they never did. It's okay though. Infestation is a special type move, so that makes no difference. The attack drops don't do anything to me. And yeah, Infestation will knock it out. The sound effect for that's really weird. It's like a really weird sound. Alright, well, level 17. Trying to learn... No. God, no. <laughs> You're not learning Bind. It's terrible. Well, it's not terrible, but it's terrible. <laughs> it is terrible. Um, alright, so we don't have cut, so we can't go through there, which means we have, uh, made it to Camphrier. Once we get out of this battle with an Abra, which is gonna use teleport, probably not gonna let me escape. Okay, it did, okay. Usually Abras are like, nope, you can't escape, and then they use teleport, it's like, what's the point? Well, we've made it to Camphrier Town, and we got a hollow clip from, uh, just some random thing. Well, alright then. Okay, let's see what's going on in this house. Bump it into the door. Like, <laughs> stupid. Yo, how's it going there? I'm Cassius. Check this out. You know what I'm doing here? I'm keeping the PC box running. No, seriously. Bill over in Kanto asked me to come here and run things, for real. Enough with the introductions. Get, get out of here. Catch some Pokemon and put them in the PC. Yo, you got something you want to ask me? I ain't got all day, you know? See, I don't even care. I got nothing. What's up with you? Okay. 
She called me a thief, even though she gave me the TM and I haven't stole anything. That's nice, thank you very much for the move, thief. Definitely gives me some, uh, variety with movesets. So, it's up. Nothing. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see what else is going on. Uh, hey. Cool. Thank <laughs> Wow, thanks. An Ultra Ball just for speaking to somebody. That's why you should always talk to people in Pokemon games. I wouldn't recommend talking to strangers, like in real life, I guess. Unless you're, like, very outgoing and trustworthy, I suppose. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it's not too recommended. Berry juice, look at this. I mean, just handing out the goodies. I love goodies. And this item is just chilling all over the place, too, like X attacks and star pieces. This is a nice town. This is a the goody town. This is just full of stuff. Alright, so let's heal up real quick. And uh, we'll see what Camp Freer has to offer, I guess. We'll just check out the rest of the places and then wrap it up. So, let's see what's happening with you. This guy over here is the name raider, but unfortunately we can't change the name of any of our Pokemon because you can't change uh, traded Pokemon's nicknames. So, unfortunately I can't do that. I actually keep forgetting to do that as well. It's not, um, I keep forgetting to read the comments and put it on the sidebar what I want to, uh, or the nicknames you guys suggested. So, Go ahead and leave a ton of suggestions again, and I'll have it decided on by the next episode, hopefully. If I remember, <laughs> I'm pretty bad at remembering things. And again, look at the free stuff, man, you know, it's just... It's just nice. It's just nice and good. Do you have anything free you want to give me? Nope, you're a jerk. You're like the worst person in this town. Alright, well, Mr. Bonding's over here, so I guess we can get more O-Powers, because he's always chilling here in these hotels or Pokemon centers. So it's Bonding time. Special Attack Power, level 1. Well, I didn't figure that a Special Attack Power would increase Special Attack Power. That's... Crazy talk, that right there. I didn't think that would be... What would happen. Alright, so, let's head into this house here, I think this is the last place we gotta go into, and hopefully we will, uh, get something good, so, uh, I don't have a fire type, do I? No, I do not, crap. Uh, can someone, like, say, show me a grass type? Nope, you don't want to see a grass type. Hey, sweetheart, no, more free stuff, I think that guy will give me something if I show him a fire type, but... All we have is the stuff in our party, and a Gligar. So, yeah. No fire types. But if we get one, um, I don't even know if I'll come back. So, with all said done, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Y Wonder Wedlock. If you did, it would be awesome. If you'd leave a like and a comment, I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. So, catch you guys then.